Ed Poulard is a working man, one who's put in a lot of nine to five years at Lucide International here in Beaumont. I'm, I'm an electrician. I work on process control instrumentation and high voltage distribution gear. It's not exactly a stress-free career when one wrong move can kill you, but Ed's got a remedy that lets him leave the day's work at work. And on weekends when the whistle blows, Ed Boulard cuts loose. It's a hoppin' Friday night at Larry's French Market in Groves, a local hangout tucked away in the deepest corner of deep southeast Texas. A place where the crawfish are hot and the beer is cold. A place where the Louisiana Cajun culture spills over the state line and mixes mighty fine with these Texas people of the pines. Down here, they do things their own way. After all, southeast Texas has its own geography, food, folks, and its own music. Well, I'm, I'm Creole. Creole is, is a person of either mixed race, which would, could be, you know, black, white, Indian, uh, Caribbean, uh, or a black, French-speaking person from Louisiana. Call it Cajun, Creole, or Zydeco. What it means is accordions, fiddles, a century-old tune, and a toe-tapping beat a sound that Ed Poulard grew up hearing, a soundtrack to the Louisiana French culture that defines his life and lots of others here in the Piney Woods. I guess it's because it's a mixture of, of several styles of music. It, it, it's got uh, Irish influence, it's got uh, other influences, which makes it, I guess, such a, a, a rich mixture that uh, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. A guy walked up to us and said, would y'all play something old? And he looked it over at me and he said, everything we play is over 200 years old. <laughs> How old you want it? After 30 years of playing the accordion, Ed worked up the guts to attempt to make one. He failed the first two times he tried, but the third time was the charm, and the complexities of this seemingly simple instrument started falling into place. You can sand it smooth, and you think you got it smooth, but when that stain hits it, it raises the grain. I, I made an attempt to do it twice. I went to Louisiana and got patterns and, and uh, jigs and stuff like that to do it, and uh, come home and I tried it, and uh, there was no resources here I could go to to get any guidance. And so I came home and I asked a friend of mine, he's an accordion builder, he's the guy that taught me how to build accordions, his name is Jude Moro. I asked him to build an accordion for my daughter. And uh, he said, okay, but there's, there's a condition on that. He said, you have to help me. So that's how it all got started. <laughs> These days, Ed will put his accordions up against any of the finest made, partly because there's a piece of Ed in every single one. He's taken handmade to the extreme. You see, Ed's one of those guys who believes if you don't have it, you just make it, down to the most precise part. You just assemble these, but you buy all the parts in Hong Kong or something, like that little thing <laughs> in there, right? No, I'm afraid not. No, no, I made that. This right here is a, a welding rod that I made a, a jig to shape it and give it that, that uh, conformity there.
It's hard to say which is more difficult, learning to play the accordion or learning to make one. Both offer their own set of challenges. Challenges overcome by a Southeast Texas electrician who is an artist and a craftsman. One who lives and breathes the culture of his music. I try to be as, as best that I can be with my, with my hands and I'm a real stickler for making a, a, a perfect whatever it is I'm trying to do. And you are a perfectionist. Well, I try to be. Yeah, I, I, I'm not flawless, okay? But I, I strive to be a perfectionist, yes. I really enjoy building them now, too. I'm pretty much obsessed with continuing to do it. It's something that I really would like to do when I retire. That's yes. a strong word, obsessed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much good words, really. I like it, and uh, yes, there are worse. I'll put it. <laughs> He's part electrician, part musician, part craftsman, and all Creole. It's hard to say which makes Ed Boulard the proudest: his accordions or his culture. Both are bound up in moments like this in places down in the bayous where the music is loud, the dance floor is full, and the night comes alive with the sounds of centuries of musicians brought back to life in a handmade squeeze box. I've only built a couple that are being used commercially, and those individuals are proud to have them, and, but they're not near as proud to have them as I am for them to have them. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.